just after 20 years, there's a few things I can pinpoint that you need a, a good quarterback, a team leader at quarterback, no matter his skill set. You need a good adult staff that believes in what you're doing and doesn't want to be you. And there's not a beach ball underwater waiting to rise up out of the water when you disappear with all these great ideas. So there's no <laughs> secrets in our staff. If, if I even get one of those at the end of the year, it's time to move on because we should have said that game two, game three. There are no secrets between us. Um, and, and it's just things like that. And then the weight room is the biggest piece for us. We take the greatest amount of pride. Like I said, we've had all these different coaches, coordinators, blah, blah, blah. Um, what we do, I think, better than everybody is the offseason. You know, and I'll never dazzle anybody. Every coach that comes on there is like, oh, yeah, I'm so happy to be part of the staff. Can't wait to learn. And by the end of it, they're like, didn't really learn that much. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we're not here to dazzle you. We're not here to dazzle. There's no secrets. We do the most simple things the best. And that is when they get in that weight room, we wreck them. I mean, we wreck them. I, get, I almost get sick, nauseous watching them. I mean, our strength, our coaches are all involved, station work. We do, you know, we do our meat and potatoes during the day like everybody else, our 30 to 50 minute really go. But then after school is where we do that cross training, tear down, team building. You know, in the mornings they meet. Individual coaches are required to meet with their players once a week, whether they do football stuff or take them to the movies because they have to build a relationship with them. They have to have a better relationship with them than I do. That's the expectation. If not, then I'm upset because that's what it, where it's at. You have to know everything about them, where they live, what's going on with them. They have a good, they have a bad, they have it in the middle. Whatever it is, um, we need to be able to have constant relationship building in that area because a lot of guys want to come in and yell and beat their chest and all that stuff. They'll hoot and holler, but you can't take a withdrawal from somebody if you haven't built an emotional bank account with them. You just can't. You know, if I came and started yelling at you, you'd be like, who's this for? You just hang up on me. There's no account <laughs> built, you know. You just, right. you just can't do it. And so you got to get in here and build that relationship in off season. For those who don't want to do that, they just want to show up on Fridays like a lot of coaches do now. Mm -hmm. You can't work here, okay, because anybody can call plays. My wife can call plays. Trips right, zone right. That stuff's not hard. That's, that's the easy part. Coordinating offense is hard. Getting everybody, all 50 players and eight coaches – on page is hard teaching it to the jv and the freshman it's hard spending the whole year training them it's hard coming to the weight room you know three days a week plus two mornings it's hard so i need guys that want uh, that want to do more and do the hard i don't need some young guy who's played a few years on madden and come in here and think he wants to call this offense <laughs> like a lot do they, they yeah. do it's just, <laughs> no, i can't hardly no, find freshman true. coaches anymore i can't find fret no i'm a freshman i'm a friday night guy you haven't even been a Monday night guy or a Thursday night guy. Just let's let's work on the days of the week first, and then we'll get to Fridays. <laughs> it's like I tell players, you want I want to play in college. You ain't even playing on Fridays yet. You got to play on Fridays before you can play on Saturdays. You want to play on Sundays? You better be pretty good on Saturdays. So we just kind of keep that that building block, that's those steps in line, and we wreck them. And we do about ten philanthropy projects every year because we have to market our brand. We have to show people that football is good because we're always the most hated on. I don't care anybody says. And I don't even know why. But, I mean, I do know why. It's not the physicality. It's not the concussions. It's, it was happening way before that, which all that stuff's minutiae too. But it's because there's a bunch of guys, alpha males. They are loud. They are confident. They're cocky. They do make mistakes. We Just like all humans, but ours is more advertised, so it's easy to be more scrutinous on us. And, um, and that's what you sign up for, so you can't complain about it. That's why if our kids get caught doing something, there's a punishment not only during school but after school. What the average student doesn't have that. They just go home and maybe get grounded or whatever, lose their lose their Nintendo. Here, you know, when you sign up to be an athlete, you sign up for the full full gamut of what can come, good and bad. There is no embarrassing you in the offseason. What's embarrassing is getting out in the football field and getting your butt whipped. Yeah. So let's try to avoid that. That's embarrassing. In front of 8,000 people, you get whipped on national TV. Yeah, that's that's embarrassing. Me yelling at you in the weight room, that's nothing. So our job is to prepare them and and get them in the weight room almost every opportunity we can because nobody wins in the weight room. Everybody walks out of there defeated. Nobody's beat the weight room yet. It's one and zero. Yeah, you know, I bench 405. Why not 410? <laughs> You know, so, you know, that's that's why you go. You learn to go get defeated in there so you don't get defeated out there. And that's really the secret to our, our program, as simple as it sounds. Um, I don't think we've outthought anybody yet. Every coach I meet, they're not, they're not asking me about my offense and defense. Even when I called it, I was always offended. I'm like, nobody cares. <laughs> but, uh, but it is more about the process because, you know, football, we only play, what, 14 games? That's 28 hours. 
we played a football this year. How many yep. how many hours did we spend practicing in a weight room? Thousands. Yep. So where are you going to put your energy? And that's where we put our energy, time, and resources. 